much at the one for stand with us. There seems to be no end in sight. And the crisis rocking the new Nigeria People's Party, one of Nigeria's young political party, which emerged just before the 2023 elections. I remember when I had a conversation with Alaji Buba Galadima at the time, he says, look, they have everything well put together as far as the party is concerned that we will see political science in action. Well, in the party, there seems to be that... Um, the center is no longer holding, as now some members of the party will say they are the BOT, the Board of Trustees of the party, have suspended the NNPT flag bearer and the leader of the party, Senator uh, Rabi Musa Kwankonso, Senator Kwankonso, a former Kano State Governor, who came forth in this year's presidential election, was suspended by the group led by the NNPP chieftains Boniface Anir Bonam and Agbo Major, the group led by Anir Boma and Major were suspended uh, at a special general assembly meeting at the Rockview Hotels in the Papa area of Lagos. But in Abuja, yeah, you know, that's part of what they said today on your screen about what they call anti-party activities that Mr. Kwankoso is involved in. Now, Mr. Galadima and uh, the national chairman of the NNPP and a few others were also uh, in Abuja today. They had what they call the neck meeting, where they said they've expelled Mr. Agbo Major and Agbo Nama. And now, uh, what is exactly happening within the, the NNPP? The question that one will be wanted to ask. Uh, Elijah Buba Galadima joins us live. He's one of the uh, founding fathers of the NNPP. Thank you so much, Elijah Galadima. You boasted, you told me that, look, you are experienced in uh, putting a political party together, but... Things are falling apart in your party. <laughs> no, Sherwood. We are very much intact. Really? Yeah. You have split the groups now? No. No. Your friend, brother, Let me leader, first. Hong Kong has been suspended. Well, you, I am hearing that from you now. I thought well, what I saw now. in the, in the social now. media yeah. was just like... Uh, Nollywood or Hollywood jokes. Now you are confirming that social media event. First, let me make a small correction. Those that were expelled were Dr. Boniface Ukechuku Anya Bunam. You didn't spell it very well. Okay. Uh, 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 apologies for the wrong spelling of the name. Yes, and uh, Major <coughs> Gabriel Ag Agbo Major. Let me first say that uh, we thank the founding fathers of this party who had the vision to form new Nigerian People's Party some 21 years ago. However, the party remained almost comatose until we came in last year, resuscitated it, give it life, give it tonic injection, and it became what it is today. As you have seen, a lot of people in this country are interested in this party in the sense that they felt, the other parties felt that they could only survive if they destroy this party. But unknown to them, we are as solid as the rock of Gibraltar. Who are these people that you are alleging? That are those to those, those who fear Senator Rabiu Musa Konkosos profile. Who are these people? Uh, you are a journalist. You, can, you are an investigative journalist. I'm giving you a challenge. What, because what? those that sponsored those well, people... Why do you send us on an unending uh, um, when I adventure can tell you when now. you can easily say it? Because there are those who will say, look, Elijah Baba Galadima is just uh, not saying the truth because, look, uh, there are no persons that are, that are after the NNPP. NNPP is after itself. There are those who perhaps no. will say that. No, no. No, no. You 
you know, there are a lot of things going under the carpet. After our research of these elections, you know we didn't go to court. We discovered that even in the Northwest alone, Ponkoso scored about 3.963 votes, which had not been accounted for. 3.96 million votes. Or which, were, which has votes. not been accounted for. And in Bauchi, when we went to court, all the two major parties connived to make sure that they rigged us out in court. And one of them accused the other of having helped itself in about six or seven local governments. And a recount was made. In that recount, it was discovered that NNPP had 160 something thousand extra votes that have not even been accounted for from the 90 that they gave us. In Nasarawa here, Nasarawa here, I'm taking one state, one zone after the other in the north, in the, in the north. Nasarawa here, our candidate went to court. They gave him 11,000 votes. We discovered that he scored 117,000 votes. They just canceled seven and left 11. And you can also see that there are a lot of issues coming on Kano. That's a subject that we will address on it is on when it resurfaces. Because some people felt that conch oxygen must be removed from Concosos North. If he survives politically, they are in trouble in 2027. Is this a fight between Ganduje and Kwan Kwanso? I say when it ripens. No, because you will be the first person to just know. A moment, just, just a moment. If you go let's to Kano, not, let's, let's, just a moment, let's not divert uh, from moment, what brought me And here. I'm mentioning names now because there is a Kwankozo in the mix, which you, you have mentioned in Kano. We know for sure that there is an opposition, which is a form, uh, former governor and the national chairman of the APC, Dan Duje. Uh, is he the only opposition you have in Kano? You have some opposition in other places I say, at the national level. Mr. President will know that he has taken a scorpion and put inside his pocket. Who is the scorpion? Ganduje. Why do you call him a scorpion? Is that right to call him a former governor? Why? If he can why stink, he if, he, if he can stink his benefactor. Who is that? Senator Rabi Musa Konkoso, that next to God, he made him what he is. There is no way that he will not do the same to Tinubu. And Tinubu should know that even as a today, he's been isolated from those under him because they take decisions and ram it on his throat without him really knowing. I am saying this so that he takes note before they throw him under the bus. Let me take you to... Let's, go, let's go to what we... Let me, let, me, let, me, let me take you up on the Kwankwansu matter and the suspension. Um, yeah. Just today, uh, they, they are accusing him of anti-party activities. And you will see, you remember, he met with President Bola Tinobu of the APC. You've seen pictures of him with uh, former Vice President and PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar. Is this enough evidence to show that he's actually involved in anti-party activities? Thank you. Now you are, you are, you are, you are, you are yourself an investigative journalist. <laughs> Since you know all go this. On. Go ahead. Look. The president had tried to see Konkoso on several occasions after the election. It didn't happen. And they agreed to meet in France. Konkoso had to bring the national caucus of the party and told them, look, the president wants to see me. What's your position? Everybody in that meeting, about 13 of us, spoke except myself. Where was the meeting? 
in Kwamkoso's house. In Abuja here. Yes. And uh, all of them, except myself, I didn't speak, not because I didn't support, but because I know what was happening. So it's, for, it's better for others who didn't have the privilege of knowledge of what is happening to, to make their opinion known. And each and every member of that national caucus said, why don't you go and hear Mr. President out? So, to cut a long story short, they met in France. They agreed to work together to uplift Nigeria and said they should come back and talk and, 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 and carry their constituency along. They never met until the second time. The second time they met was when demolitions of Ganduja's properties, it's not the property of Kano people that was being demolished. And Ganduja is a devil. Sorry, that's, that's, that's quite extreme. You so I withdraw. Uh, I, put, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's extreme. I withdraw. But when you, when you let the bullet, it's very difficult for you to catch it. Hmm. Because I wonder, I wonder why you, you lose God to have described someone because as a devil. Because I am, I am, I am, I am in tension. Because I have already reasoned that I have very little time left to live on this earth. And I can't see the Nigeria I had all my life, over 70 years, worked to see working well for you and me and our children. I'm frustrated that only bad people succeed. So, Konkoso came to him and said, look, this demolition, look at this, look at this, this look at this place. The company belongs to so-so-so. -so. Look at the CAC board of directors, Ganduja's people. Look at this plot demolished, or this property demolished. Look at the owners. All of them linked to Ganduje. But it doesn't mean that he owns them. They might be friends, family members, or those who are related to him in one way or the other. Does it mean that he owned all of them? That may not be factual, isn't it? To say that Ganduje owned all of the houses or the, the, uh, the properties that have been did, demolished did, in did, did, did we say your name was there? I'm, I'm saying. I said, did we say your name was just there? Just a moment. I'm, saying, I'm just asking. Because, no, no, I'm not. We are not quarreling. No, I'm not quarreling with you. I'm now. just saying that we have to be factual on the program and what I, we tell I Nigerians. Say, I say, I say. If you say that Ganduje own all the properties that are being demolished, can, could that be factual? That's I the say, question. I say, I say, is, was your name there? Why wasn't your name among those that whose properties were demolished? I don't own a property in Kano. Thank so. you. Thank you. So, he explained to Mr. President the situation, what is happening. And uh, the president said, oh, sorry, I didn't know that it is like this. That after all, I gave instructions, but that will be stopped. I don't want to mention what instruction. And they went ahead and started what they were doing. Well, sir, Hold on. You, 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 I, I, I want, no, no, I'd like to ask a question at this point. Then the, was a plan? You know, he met Mr. President three times. The last time he met Mr. President was that we wrote a letter to Mr. President. We, NNPP, wrote a letter to Mr. President that this is the rumors we are hearing and that you are people in Kano, this is what they say on radio. This is what they say in the social media. That irrespective of our clear victory in Kano, that cannot be controverted in any court of law, they still say Kano is too large to be left in the hands of an opposition party. Therefore, they will take it by force, as they had done in 2019. So that's a big fear for your side. 
if you are if you are in my shoes, what would be your position? Has there been a conversation with the president and Mr. Kwam Kunso about making Kwam Kunso a member of President Tinubu cabinet? Member, I mean. Yes, member. no. Yes, no. Yes, in the sense that he was supposed to be a minister. And no? No, because of he was dropped later on. If they said they would work together, working together entails anything or nothing. I can work together with you. So, now we are working together because so, we, are, we are having a conversation. So the alliance between Bola Tinobu and Kwankwanso has fallen. It's not alliance. It's not alliance. Kwankwanso is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a nationalist, patriotic Nigerian who means well for this country. So is that the same uh, connotation or the same meaning you withdraw into Atiku Abubakar and Kwankwanso meetings? As a politician. As a politician, we can meet with anybody. After all, we are meeting with you. The other time, I proved it that you didn't vote for us. I never voted. I've not voted in a long time. So, so but I'm we, a, we still I'm, meet. I'm a, I'm a we still converse. But the question is that if they allege that Mr. Kwankwanso is involved in anti-party activities, and some of he these took permission from us. But why are the Mr. Agbo Major, unfortunately... Who is Mr. Agbo Major? Major Agbo in your party. Is he a member of the National Caucus? Of the NNPP? Yeah. Is, is, he not, yeah. is he not a National Public Secretary What of the does party? that mean? Unfortunately, he was just, supposed just, to speak just, to us, but we understand that there is a lot of noise uh, in the background. Uh, <laughs> he's supposed to speak to us from... So, virtually. whatever is the case, Konkoso had the permission from the party to go and talk to Tinubu and talk to any other political group. So he didn't do it on his own. So These people. How do you resolve this matter with uh, uh, the national, uh, the, the, the persons that met in Lagos today who are now in opposition against the Kwon Kwon Society? Do you know, do you know them? How do you resolve uh, it? How many of them do you know? Are you aware of Agbo Major? I say, I, of course, National for Policy Secretary. So what a do member you do? Of, a, member of the, a member of the National Executive Committee of the party. So what do you do? You say you, you have expelled He has been expelled. He's not a member of this party. And he knew because he, he, the, all of them that were expelled were called to a disciplinary committee and they were drilled and they accepted their, 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 their sin and it is on the basis of the acceptance of what they had done that they, they were recommended to the National Working Committee uh. for expulsion. And the National Working Committee took a decision on behalf of NEC. And they knew, they knew that 21 days ago today, we wrote INEC that we are holding a National Executive Committee of the NNPP because you have to invite INEC mm -hmm. To sit with you. I like you, Just let me. We need to go. Let me. You let, both let said let me to me quickly. a few months ago just, that you said that your political sagacity will be brought uh, to bear. Is this what you're talking about? Your party that is falling apart. When you didn't even allow me to land. You land, land. But so, I'm, I'm so we wrote, we wrote INEC. They knew we were meeting today. INEC will be there. They, that the National Executive Committee will expel them. That is why they, they thought they would do a counter coup by seven of them aggregating in Lagos to say that they've expelled Konkoso. In this today's meeting, all the members of the National Executive Committee, except Major, were present. All, right. all the state chairmen, 37 of them, were present. All the members of the National Assembly in, uh, 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 of our party were present. All senators, all House of, House of Assembly members of our party, our governor, was also there. And me, the only member of the BOT, All right. minus Anya Bonam, were there. We and we took this decision yeah. with INEC, INEC present. Mm. Therefore, they remain expelled from this party. We need to go now. Party. Thank you so much. Alaji Buba Galadima for joining us. But I still remind you, you boasted to me that you will build a party that is better than all political parties. It's not? barely six months after the election. Your party is almost barely up. So thank you so much. When we have everybody for speaking to in us, the meeting today. And someone is expelled. Only one person is your national leader.
Thank you so much, Ian, for coming tonight. <laughs>